ago or five minutes ago I don't know what's going on with my phone but it was it it was flipping me anyways happy Friday everybody I'm Darcy Heather I'm an interior designer in New York City um, doing jobs here and beyond and we are starting something new today if you've been following me for a little while you know that I was doing Friday favorites with Facebook uh, friends of mine either industry partners or um, just people that I thought were awesome and I wanted to share with all of you and it was always at noon Eastern Standard Time and it was getting to be a little bit hectic for me in the middle of the day to kind of stop everything and do these Facebook lives and we were having this um, meeting in the office which I'll tell you about it's not really a meeting every Friday in my office about 4 4 30 we kind of wind everything down with our projects and we do our cocktail recap and we have cocktails in the office and we kind of talk about our wins of the week where we are on different projects what each of us is working on and it's just a time for us to all connect and have a great time um, just chatting with each other and kind of catching up on the week so out of our last cocktail recap we decided that maybe Friday should be more about drinks with Darcy talking about design so here we are um, today and of course I love a good play on words so drinks with Darcy talking about design and today we are talking bourbon and Broadloom. <laughs> so I have mixed myself a Manhattan. I am a Manhattanite. I do love a good, Ma I'm sorry, not a Manhattan, an old fashioned. Um, I'm an old fashioned girl too, but I love bourbon. Bourbon's one of my favorite, favorite um, drinks. Any way you can put a bourbon in something, I'm gonna, I'm there, I'm your girl. Um, whenever I get a chance to go out to a really nice restaurant, the first thing I peruse is their cocktail list and pretty much anything that has bourbon in the title, I'm done. So cheers. Mm. I needed that. Happy Friday. So today, um, my I've got my old fashioned in hand and we're going to talk a little bit about Broadloom. Broadloom being carpets. And typically what a Broadloom carpet is, is a wall to wall carpeting. And the term Broadloom comes from the fact that the carpets are loomed on very broad <laughs> looms. So you can get a very continuous, even pattern. And um, while we don't use a lot of wall-to-wall -wall carpet here on in the city in most of our projects, if we do use it, it's typically going to be in a bedroom. And we are working on one project right now where we are doing um, two rooms. One is a den and the other one is the master bedroom. And um, so I wanted to share it with you. It's kind of, you can't really see the full pattern repeat. It's this really gorgeous um, crisscross pattern in this beautiful slate gray with a cream um, stitching in it and this is what's called a looped pile so the whole piece is continuously looped and one of my very favorite go-to places to find all my broad loom carpets and um, custom-made area rugs is start carpet so pretty much every sample that I'm showing you today is from start carpet Shout out to my rep, Sidonia. And um, so anyways, this is one carpet that I'm completely obsessed with. I wish I had a full scale um, picture to show you what it looks like because installed is very graphic, very masculine. I love it a lot and it's super, super cushy underfoot. Um, so this is one of my favorites. So we're kind of tying in the Friday favorites with the bourbon and the broad loom and the drinks with Darcy and design. Get it? Okay. So that's one. Um, and then a couple of the other ones that I've, this has always been a favorite of mine. Super simple, has this stripe that's in it. Again, it's a um, broad loom um, carpet and it's also a looped pile. And Broad looms, when they make them, it used to be way back in the day that they were pretty much standard as 12 foot wide goods. So what that meant was as you were putting it in your room, if your room in either direction was over 12 feet, you would have a visible seam. So whenever you're dealing with a looped pile like this one is, you have to be very careful where they put that seam because when they cut into the fibers, you can see that they're gonna, you're gonna have this kind of like this raw edge here. So when they seam it together, you it is one of the kind of inherent beauties, if you will, of seeing that edge. And usually they'll, a really good installer is gonna hide it towards the back of a room. So where, you know, it's mostly covered by furniture. You don't have the possibility of the beater brush of your vacuum cleaner, you know, taking one of these and pulling out your carpet. Um, 
Otherwise, you would have something like this, which this is a completely cut pile, and when they cut this edge here to lay this carpet and they seam it, um, the seam disappears, you have no idea where it is. So that's um, kind of one of the nicer things about having something that is um, a cut pile. So I was saying that they typically do a 12 foot because there have been a lot of um, improvements on the mills and also some of the um, homes that are being built with the room sizes, they have sometimes a 13 foot, six foot wide good or a 15 foot. Um, so if you're looking for carpets and you do have an extra large room, you kind of want to look to see either A, where they're going to put the seams or B, if you can find a carpet that's wide enough that you don't have to have a seam. That's awesome. Um, this one happens to be 100% viscose, so you, I don't know if you kind of see it. it, has a lot of sheen to it. And again, this is a, it's a beautiful carpet. One thing you would need to be aware of is that, as you can see, my hand is going across it. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like to see like vacuum marks or footprints, this is not the carpet for you. You do not want this. You want something like this. So you can run your hand across this, vacuum goes across it, you walk on it, your kitty cats and doggies walk on it, and you're not gonna see any of the footprints because it's very, very tightly um, woven. And it also, this is a wool, 100% wool, so it doesn't have a lot of that sheen that you would have on something like the viscose carpet where it's, it's a lot of sheen to it. Um, this is another one. This is a viscose, but there's a loop and a cut. So that's what helps give it this pattern. It's all the same color, but because the um, because there's the, the difference in the loop, you it reads as different, um, almost like a different coloring. It kind of looks like a tone on tone, but it is actually the same color. Um, and then this is another looped that has a really pretty pattern to it. And this guy is a 12 foot wide. So again, if you had a room that was like a 14 by 14 or anything that was an, a, a size larger than a 12, Foot wide where they could do that run you'd have to be careful while they put the seam so anyways I thought I'd just jump on and share a couple quick tips about Broadloom give my big old shout out to my bourbon <laughs> I do love it um, and if you have any questions please feel free to email us or tag us in Facebook we'll get back to you with comments and I hope that you are seeing this right side up Facebook is a funny funny animal these days and I don't know I was sideways for a little bit so anyways if you if you caught that first one we'll just add it to our blooper reel all right everybody cheers have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week for more drinks and design with Darcy <laughs> bye